Oh, the shenanigans I'm getting into today. I'm pretty excited about this one. This is, this is gonna be a fun idea, or it might be a stupid idea. I don't know, I guess we'll see. Basically what I'm doing today is I'm gonna build a mid-range gaming PC. It's perfectly decent, solid system, but it's mid-range. I'm gonna list it online for sale on a site like Craigslist or OfferUp, but I'm gonna list it for a really low price so we get a buyer quickly. And once I meet up with that buyer, instead of actually selling them the gaming PC they think they're about to buy, I'm gonna surprise them with a high-end gaming system that I'm gonna be giving away to them for free. I'm pretty excited to see how the high-end system turns out. Out, I think it's gonna look really good in the end. I'm also curious to see how quickly we can actually get a buyer for the bait PC. And finally, I'm of course looking forward to seeing the buyer's reaction at the end of the video. I'm pretty stoked. This is essentially a bait and switch PC prank is what it is, but it's like a nice prank, you know? It's gonna be like, haha, you thought you were buying a mid-range gaming PC, but instead you're winning a free high-end system, dummy. I can't wait for this sucker to fall into my trap of kindness. It's gonna be like giving candy to a baby. Before we continue, this video is brought to you by Keoxia. Keoxia actually has a rich history in the tech industry as being the inventor of NAND flash memory, but they also have a full lineup of SSDs for pretty much any occasion, whether you're looking to drop an NVMe drive into an enterprise data center or a crypto mining rig, uh, gaming piece, I meant to say game, son of a with competitive PCIe Gen 3 by 4 speeds, the BG4 and XG6 series are well suited for gaming systems, while the CD6 and CM6 feature leading edge PCIe Gen 4 performance for Milan and Ice Lake servers. To learn more about everything Keoxia has to offer, click on the link in the description below. Now, like I said, our bait PC is a mid-range system, but it's certainly no slouch. You can easily handle 1080p gaming over 60 FPS in the vast majority of titles out there. It's got an AMD Ryzen 5 5600 6 core 12 thread CPU, 16 gigs of G-Skill DDR4 on an ASRock B550 Phantom Gaming 4 AC motherboard, along with a Sapphire Pulse AMD Radeon RX 6650 XT. It also has one terabyte of NVMe storage, a 650 watt power supply, and that's all encapsulated inside of the Fantex Eclipse P300 chassis. And while this is definitely a capable gaming machine, the high-end system that we're building is like that much faster. Our big boy giveaway system sports an AMD Ryzen 7 5800X3D, which has eight cores, 16 threads, and it's just about the fastest gaming processor you can buy right now. We're doubling the memory capacity of the bait PC with 32 gigs of Corsair DDR4, and our motherboard is the MSI Meg X570S Ace Max, which has a lot more bells and whistles. Arguably the juiciest part of this system is the MSI Gaming X Trio Radeon RX 6950X T. This thing's an absolute beast, and when paired with the 5800X3D, the performance of this rig is gonna blow the other one out of the agua. It's also got two terabytes of NVMe storage, a 360 millimeter liquid AIO, and an 850 watt power supply, all inside of the new Lian Li Landcool 3. Not to mention there's gonna be RGB fans, which I feel like is the only thing that the person who wins this system might not like. Like if they hate RGB for whatever reason, maybe they were like molested by a rainbow. At the end of the day though, they're getting the system for free, so I think they can suppress their childhood trauma for one day. The bait PC is complete. Yes, everything went according to plan. It was a very simple, straightforward build, so no issues. I, I haven't connected it to a monitor yet, so I'm not sure if it's actually posting, but uh, it doesn't matter because we're not actually selling this PC or giving it away. I'm sure it works perfectly fine. I built it myself after all. But for what it's worth, I think it turned out pretty fresh. Cable management looks really nice and super easy to do because there wasn't much going on with this build, very simple. And uh, the airflow is, is flowing. I did put a 120 millimeter fan at the front of the case, which I didn't mention uh, at the beginning. This was like a, an, a an afterthought because even though it doesn't matter, it does not matter because the system is going to no one. It's not gonna be used and probably gonna disassemble it at some point. I just couldn't call this system finished without having some semblance of air intake. It just, it was driving me crazy. So I just left that fan in there. Now we got a proper system and we're ready to go. I actually already created the Craigslist ad as well. Gaming PC. Now Never been used for $300, 300 I think that's a very attractive price considering that the value of this PC is probably around $900 when all is said and done. And I would imagine that anyone who knows anything about PCs, as soon as they read the specs here and they see the price, they're gonna realize that this is actually a really good deal, especially because it's brand new. I did put, put right here, received as a gift that I don't need, brand new PC build, never been used, but it remains to be seen how long it'll take a serious buyer to actually bite. So I'm gonna go ahead and publish the ad right now and hopefully we get someone soon. As far as the giveaway PC goes, it is nearly done. I just gotta add some finishing touches, but so far it is just looking, oof. So I'm gonna finish it up right now, and in the meantime, we're gonna wait patiently for an unsuspecting gamer to take the bait.
All right, it's been roughly an hour since I posted that ad. I actually posted it on Craigslist and OfferUp just to cover more bases. And in that hour, I've received no less than 15 replies from people who wanna buy this thing. I gave dibs to the first guy who hit me up and he messaged me probably like 10 minutes after I posted the ad. It was it was quick, but he ghosted me. So I moved on to the second guy who messaged me. So this guy's down to meet up. He seems super interested in the rig, but I'm not gonna be able to meet with him today. I asked if he could reschedule to tomorrow because uh, the sun's coming down pretty quickly and I need daylight to film. He seems cool with that. We're gonna meet at 4 p.m. tomorrow. And if this guy happens to ghost me for whatever reason, I'm not gonna sweat it too much. I've got over a dozen other people that are just really thirsty for this system. And why wouldn't they be? It's a ridiculous deal. Although one guy had the audacity to ask if he could do, if I could do 250. That's the most offensive low ball I've ever received. Ridiculous. But anyway, if this guy that I'm talking to right now pulls through tomorrow, then he's in for a huge surprise. Uh, here's the system. I'm sure you're curious to see how it turned out. So here she is. I know, I know. The PC looks fantastic. I'm amazing. I'm the best YouTuber in the world. Hold your applause till the end, please. In all seriousness though, I'm very happy with how this thing turned out. It looks absolutely stunning and everything's looking real good, real good. So I actually did swap out the, uh, the three 140 millimeter fans that were included with the case with three 120s. So a little bit less airflow coming in, but not by much. There's still plenty. Tiny bit of negative pressure because we've got more exhaust than, in than intakes, but hopefully that shouldn't pose too big of an issue. You wanna know what was a big issue though? My power supply dying on me. This is not the, the power supply that I went with initially. This was, it was the, where is it? This guy, the Asus ROG Strix 850 watt unit. And I, I like these units. You know, the Asus uh, stuff is, is pretty good. I, I've had pretty good luck with their power supplies in the past, but this one failed on me. It was actually working initially. I got Windows installed with it and everything. And after Windows was installed, it just automatically shut off. It just shut off out of nowhere. And I was like, what the heck? And then I tried to turn it back on and it wouldn't turn on. The only thing that would happen is like the, it would do the, uh, the fans would do the dreaded twitch. You know, it would just like twitch. Anytime I'd hit the power button or whatever, it would twitch a little bit, but nothing else after that. So I was like, what the frick is going on? That usually indicates a power supply failure, not always, but generally. And so I tested out the system with the Dark Power Pro uh, 850 watt from Be Quiet, and boom, voila, it just worked perfectly. I don't know what happened. I don't know why that Asus unit just died on me. Lesson learned, I should have gone with German engineering from the start. Another unexpected issue actually popped up when I first started building. So when I initially took the case out of the packaging and stuff, I opened this flap. I realized that one of the drive cages, because there's there's two of them, one was right here. One of the drive cages, this one I think, was completely loose. It was rattling around and shipping. It had come completely undone. There was no thumb screw. There's supposed to be a thumb screw holding it in place right here. No thumb screw to be found. Didn't even find it in the case, which indicates a huge quality control issue with this case, which I actually read about. Some other people were having QC issues with the Land Cool 3. I decided to roll the dice on this case anyway, because I really wanted to check it out. And fortunately that was the worst of it. And actually we got really lucky because there were no scratches. I couldn't find any scratches. I thought, you know, for sure if it's rattling around and shipping that this metal cage would, would leave some damage. No marks or anything like that. So we got really lucky there. But man, Lee and Lee, if you're watching this, give your cases one last look before you send them off to people. Apart from that though, the case is really nice. You got good airflow, lots of mounting options, tons of flexibility, good cable management in the back. Oh, and I don't know if you guys caught it, but I did put a little kickstand here, a little uh, support, uh, support beam for our GPU sag. The GPU was sagging a little bit because he's a big boy. So I just did the cheap DIY option and cut a, a piece of PET tubing to size, which I I do all the time. It's a super cheap fix. You can cut it to size perfectly and you don't really notice it too much unless you're really looking for it. But there you go. The PC build process is finally complete and we're all ready and set to go for tomorrow. So without further ado, let's give this thing away to one lucky buyer. Yeah, I thought about it. I was like, oh, four o'clock is probably gonna hit traffic. I thought yeah. about that last night. But... Yeah, I just did a little detour and I did not realize how much time that'll take away. Oh, all good, man, all good. Uh, here's all the right. system right here. Okay, cool. Is this for a system for you or? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, Do you have a system already or are yeah, you? Yeah, we have one right now that's running the 6600. Okay. On a 10th gen i7. Okay, gotcha. So it's doing pretty good. Then... So you just need a second one for? Yeah. Oh, for you? Uh, yeah, yeah, but we'll take it. Well, actually, so before I send you home with it, I wanted to level with you really quick. What's up with it? I'm actually a YouTuber, a tech YouTuber, mm -hmm. and I'm not here to sell you that PC today. Okay. Instead, I'm sending you home with a $2,400 gaming PC, uh, completely free of charge. Uh, what? Okay. Hey, YouTube. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we've got an AMD Ryzen 7 5800 uh, X3D. There's also 32 gigs of RAM, DDR4, 
And then uh, the GPU is an MSI uh, Gaming X Trio Radeon RX 6950 XT. Well, that's the that's the highest end. I think I'm having like a uh, tank card, dude. <laughs> I'm not even joking. My heart beats like I feel it. <laughs> yeah. There'd be a problem if it wasn't beating. And also, I forgot to mention, because it has an RX 6000 series GPU in it, it also comes included with uh, Radeon's uh, Raise the Game bundle. So you actually get three free games with that. Oh, cool. That is. Yeah, it turned out pretty clean. Very clean to yeah, It should this be. Is, like meticulously assembled. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Who's gonna take it? Now you guys, all right, I'm gonna throw a stick in the middle and you guys can fight over it. Yeah. Uh, well, we live in the same house. So it's yeah, like, so yeah. literally it's just a matter of like switching rooms. And right, there you go. Right. It could be a timeshare PC. Yeah, yeah basically it, for something this good, yeah, it would have to be. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, that's uh, a lot. That's a lot. Can. Like we've had a lot of stress with the whole, like we work a lot. Amount. Yeah. This just up the whole year, dude. Before we continue, this video is brought to you by the Corsair K70 RGB Pro. It features Axon hyper processing technology for lightning fast inputs, linear mechanical switches, PBT Double Shot Pro keycaps, IQ integration, and more. For more info on the Corsair K70 RGB Pro, click the link in the description below. All right, mission complete. Those guys seemed super happy with the surprise. That was a lot of fun. Hope they enjoy it. Thank you guys for watching this one. Toss a like on it before you go get subscribed for more tech content on the way, and I will see y'all in the next video.